by Peter Daru, Mark Hurdy. Then Governor Gabriel Suswam had, at a function in Government House, few days to the handover of governance of Bu State to then incoming Governor Samuel Autom, warned that the administration was coming at a time when it would be almost impossible to pay workers. The outgoing administration had defaulted in payment of about four to five months at the state level, over seven months at the local government level while pensioners had backlog of arrears of between 53 to 70 months, according to figures obtained from the Coalition of Local Government Retires Forward slash Pensioners. Two years down the line, as if Suswam saw the future. The Autumn administration has continued to battle albeit unsuccessful to tackle the challenge of timely payment of salaries. Despite fiscal interventions from sources outside the monthly allocations from the Federation account, government continues to grapple with six months salaries owed workers while those at the local government and pensioners are owed several months. The situation is the result of what has been described as the ghost workers forward slash ghost owners syndrome. The ugly development left the state bleeding with a huge wage bill inherited from the last administration which was put at over N8 billion though the administration failed to incorporate teachers into the new minimum wage. This has meanwhile been extended to the teachers by the autumn administration. This shot up the wage bill of the state to over N8.3 billion. Worried by development, the government resorted to a biometrics screening of workers which led to the reduction of the bill to N7.8 billion. In the face of this, government was left to grapple with dwindling monthly revenue accruals which hovered around 4 to 6 billion naira monthly. The situation early in the year forced the administration early in the year to constitute another salary verification committee headed by the deputy governor, Mr. Benson Abu, to undertake another round of screening to bring down the wage bill which according to figures released by the National Bureau of Statistics ranks the third highest in the country. Though that committee is yet to turn in its final report, an interim report transmitted to government indicated that the state's resources were being drained by a yet-to-be-identified cabal. Abu said, What we have seen so far in the course of the assignment is mind-boggling. We saw that people who are not supposed to be in service are there drawing salaries. Retirees are drawing salaries, others are busy doctoring documents in order to extend their stay in service. Even the dead still draw salaries. People are also drawing allowances that they are not entitled to. Before the startling discovery of the Abu Committee, the executive chairman of the Bu State Universal Basic Education Board, Subeb, Drive, Philip Tashi, had raised the alarm that he had, through an in house committee, discovered over 2,000 ghost workers on the payroll of the board. The state's teaching service board, TSB, was also caught in the web of the ghost workers forward slash ghost owners syndrome. Only recently the executive secretary of the board, Drive, Wilfred Uji, noted that the Bue's huge wage bill was nothing but a conspiracy against the autumn administration.